Hello and welcome by a video tutorial of Magento. My name is Hans Kuipers from Yerio and with this tutorial I will show you how to create your own theme. All you need is a running installation of Magento and a uh, HTML editor. Over here you can see a default uh, installation of Magento. Well not default anymore since we've created some new menu items and we've emptied the CMS page home and we placed online shopping at Vuelta over there. We want to create a design which looks like this one and this one is based on the default installation over here. To get to the new design we go to the backend of Magento and go to system configuration and then go to design. We have over here package and themes. Um, since we're using the community edition, we are using the default package. And within the, this default package, we can use several themes. Um, for default, so it's going to apply on this four. These four, we're going to use the customer's name, Rahelta. And we click on save. Now it will look for the directory Rahelta in the back end of in the in the files of Magento to see if there are images and style, style sheets and uh, JavaScript or something like that. To see that we go to the to my HTML editor, I use Coda and in over there I have logged in to my customers page and I go to the directory skin, front end, default. This is the package name and within default it normally gets the theme which is called default, so you're in default, default. Uh, now we're creating, a, for this customer you have to create a new directory, I've already created one, it's called Rahelta, and within that directory I create two more directories which are called CSS and images. And within these directories I only place the files needed, who are different from the default installation, since Magento uses the parent-child concept, Rialta is the child and default is the parent. Everything needed to uh, for the for the shop to build on the on the front end, which is not in my theme, not in my child, it will get from the parent, which is default. And we're only going to place the files who are going to be changed. For instance, boxes.css. I copied boxes.css from the original boxes.css. Let's open both of them. And as you can see, both look the same. Well, uh, at the start, at the beginning of it. When I scroll down, I want to show you I've changed the location of the images over here boxes which use uh, uh, which is this file directs the image to uh, one directory up one directory up go to default go to images go to button proceed to checkout so from here I go two directories up then I'm over there I go to default I'm going to images and there I go to find button proceed to checkout I don't copy those images from in the directory images to mine directory. I only place the new images over here, the image for uh, a menu background or the image for uh, the, the search button on top of the screen. Search button. I change, I do some more changes over there like colors and uh, positions and well that's it. After I've changed uh, all CSS and all uh, images, I go back to the front end. I reload this page, and you will see the new template or new theme. But the logo image isn't hasn't changed yet. Uh, it's not the same as the new logo. So I go back to the uh, back end of Magento. The logo uh, is, an, is a configura 
configurable item and it's positioned in uh, system configuration design and it's over there in header it points out to images logo.gif but I want it to images Rahelta logo.png I reload this page of uh, save this config go back to the front end reload this page and as you can see now the new theme with the drop down menu uh, rounded corners and that's it thank you for watching I show you how easy it is to create your own theme this was a video tutorial from Yerio visit our website at yerio.com for more tutorials and have fun creating cool magento webshops until next time